So one of the things that we had been thinking about a lot is um, in our visits to colleges, one of the things that we noticed is that a lot of people are trying a lot of different things. And you, you talk to them or you see the classes, or you learn about what they're doing, and it seems very interesting. It seems like it's something that um, is worth expanding and growing and seeing if we can um, expose more students to new course structures, new curricula, whatever it may be. Uh, but one of the things that we also noticed when we began studying some of these reforms is that um, they tend to be small. They tend to uh, affect a relatively small number of students uh, similarly. And they tend to be isolated within those institutions. So College A or College B in the same region may not necessarily know what each other are doing. And so there's not necessarily an infrastructure for sharing among colleges or faculty about some of the new ways they're approaching DevEd. And then more broadly, in some of the higher level quantitative analyses of these innovations, one of the things that struck us and has kind of been a thorn in our side is that even for the reforms that are positive, or that show some level of positive effect, those effects tend to be very small and they tend to fade over time. So you can have an absolutely wonderful restructured pre-collegiate math program, but those students don't tend to uh, uh, continue to benefit from that experience throughout their college careers. We have yet to crack that nut. We're trying to understand what it's all about, but I think for those of us who have spent time talking with or teaching community college students, you realize there are so many factors outside of teaching and learning that are affecting their lives in colleges, and it's likely that we're gonna have to provide some kind of sustained infrastructure to support them beyond these innovations. So while we're not able to necessarily address that uh, with this study, that's something we're keeping our eye on and trying to understand a little bit better. So uh, forgive me if you came to my presentation in San Diego last year because you saw almost the same slide. Uh, but I promise I've done a little bit more thinking about this. One of the things, obviously, that we noticed when we began doing work uh, in instructional reform and the area that I've spent most time focusing on is acceleration is that most of these reforms were structural. They tended to mess around with how time was organized, um, how uh, courses were configured, so things like compressed courses that were brought together so a student could complete two courses in a single semester. Those types of innovations seemed to dominate. Um, on occasion, you saw uh, uh, colleges institute curricular reforms. So most of the curricular reforms tended to focus on uh, refining or in some cases rationalizing content. We actually have a tendency in education kind of writ large to add to things when we think something's wrong. And so one of the things that was interesting that I was seeing in uh, the developmental space is a tension between that students need more, 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 and then this argument that well, maybe we're in, let's say, math, over mathing students. Where could we cut this? What, what information do they really need to be successful at the college level? So an interesting tension around curricular reforms. And then finally, what we saw least, least happening was pedagogical reforms, so things that actually altered teaching and learning. So uh, with this in mind, we launched the project Scaling Innovation. You have a publication um, that's generated from Scaling Innovation on your chairs called Inside Out, and it's intended to be a short form piece that kind of highlights things along the way that we're learning as part of this study. So um, Scaling Innovation is actually its own website, scalinginnovation.org. Feel free to visit it and learn more about um, more about the study as well as some of the partner activities. Uh, but in short, Scaling Innovation is our chance to not just kind of write about these issues from a distance. CCRC is partnering with colleges. Uh, Barbara will talk about this, the project, um, the initiative that she's leading at Montgomery County Community College. Uh, but an effort to engage faculty, to, to really use the knowledge and expertise of faculty to not only drive improvement on their campuses, but lead the efforts to work with other colleges and other faculty at other campuses. So not kind of like a prepackaged workshop, but an intensive, ongoing, sustained work around adopting and adapting whatever the particular uh, instructional reform is.